their research from Pew. Now, I've got a great story to finish the programme from the BBC Science Unit because American scientists have built a material that changes colour to match its surroundings and we've got these animals to thank. Uh, octopuses and cuttlefish uh, use camouflage and the material uh, that has been developed, there's one of the octopuses, looks a little bit like this and it uses a temperature driven dye that switches colour on demand. Just black and white at the moment. Let's go and speak to the person who wrote the story on the BBC website, Jonathan Webb. Hi Jonathan. So, how does it work? Well, as you can see from the picture, it's made up of tiny little cells. Each one of them is about a millimetre across. And the key design element that they took from octopus and cuttlefish is that each one has three different layers inside it. The top one contains the pigment, which can switch to be black or not. Inside uh, the next layer, there's a switch which actually supplies the current to make that temperature change. And under that, there are sensors which look at the light levels immediately underneath the sheet and use those light levels all around the different points on the sheet to tell which pigments to turn on and off at what time. Now, it's impressive they're doing it, but jumping from black and white to colour is presumably going to be quite a challenge. Yeah, that's a big step. The main thing they've done here is put all of those three layers together and made it quite fast. It changes colour within a couple of seconds of, of the background changing. To make it multicoloured, they'll need to add sort of sub-pixels to each one of those cells so that it can not just be black and white, but can make up any of the different colours like a, like a flat screen monitor that we already use. Well, you mentioned flat screen monitors, and this is all very cool, but presumably they're doing it for a reason. They want science to, to take it on and put it to a purpose. Exactly, yeah. The, the group received funding from the US Navy, actually, so okay. there's very obvious applications in, in the military. Um, the sheet could be you know, applied to a vehicle so that it, it copied its surroundings. Uh, but there's interest also expressed from, from other parts of the world, people interested in fashion, in, in producing fabrics that might well, I guess that would be impressive if you go out and your, your outfit changes colour according to your circumstances. Exactly. You could make it stand out rather than blend in if you wanted. Yeah, and stuff. people are all even looking at wallpaper, so all sorts. All right, Jonathan, thank you very much indeed. You can read Jonathan's article about this at bbc.com slash news. Outside Source is back on BBC World Service Radio and here on BBC World News Television tomorrow. I'll speak to you then. Bye-bye.